In today's video, we are going to talk about some interesting facts and myths about the Havana Brown Cat. A playful, glossy cat, the Havana Brown enjoys interacting with her parent but can also be a bit of a loner sometimes. The Havana Brown is a medium-sized cat with a long, muscular body. The males are larger than the females. The head of the Havana Brown is a triangle but has a unique look because the chin is well-developed and rather square. This look gives a corn cob appearance to the muzzle. The ears and eyes of the Havana are medium in size, and the eyes are a clear, bright green. The coat of the Havana is short to medium in length and is smooth and glossy. The coat color is a rich deep brown with mahogany undertones that is unique to this breed. Here are a few interesting facts about Havana Brown which will give you some further insight into its characteristics and temperament. 1. Havana Brown's History Havana Brown has a somewhat clouded history. Some cat historians believe that this beautiful breed happened through accidental breeding, while others believe that the breeding was deliberate. In either case, in 1952 in England, a chocolate kitten was born. This kitten was named Elm Tower Bronze Idol and is considered to be the first Havana Brown kitten. The following year, there were four Havana Brown males. They are the foundation of the Havana Brown breed. The Havana Brown was named for the deep, rich brown color of the Havana cigar. This made for some confusion at the inception of the breed, as many people thought that this meant the breed had originated in Cuba instead of England. A name change to the Chestnut Brown was attempted at one point, but this did not stick, and the name of the breed reverted to the original Havana Brown. 2. Havana Brown's Personality The rich tobacco-colored cat known as the Havana Brown may or may not be named for the addictive leaf, but the cats themselves are addictive to the people who come to know them. They are outgoing and friendly. Expect one to follow you around the house every day. Like most cats with Siamese ancestry, the Havana can be demanding and talkative, but his voice is softer and his personality is more subtle. He is smart and likes the challenge of teaser and puzzle toys. When he is through playing, the affectionate Havana will happily ensconce himself on your lap. 3. Havana Brown is different from Siamese. Early breeders used Siamese cats to create today's Havana Brown, so the kitty is naturally compared to its sleek, pale relatives. The two have plenty in common, they're both slender, medium-sized cats with short fur that have heads longer than they are wide. But if you look closely, you'll see there are differences between the two felines. Aside from its darker fur and brilliant green eyes, the Havana Brown is a tad stockier than its lithe cousin, and its ears, which are large, round-tipped, and forward-slanting, are subtly distinct from the Siamese cat's bat-like flared ears. Its muzzle is rounder than the Siamese's triangular one, and the Havana Brown is required to have brown whiskers. 4. Havana Brown Size A fully grown, adult Havana Brown cat will usually weigh somewhere between 6 and 12 pounds. These cats are long, lean, and athletic in the way they look, but can be surprisingly heavy when compared to their appearance. Male Havana Brown cats are usually much larger than their female counterparts, and most Havanas are well proportioned. Regardless of their gender, Havana Brown cats have long, straight legs, however, the front legs of females tend to be slimmer than the athletic, muscular legs of the males. 5. These cats are not to be left alone often. If you don't spend much time at home, then a Havana Brown is certainly not the breed of cat for you. These social cats thrive on human interaction and attention, with a dire need to be with their human whenever they are around. While many Havana Brown cats love to cuddle, they also enjoy playtime and are quite energetic. Hello! This video is sponsored by Bmix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. 6. Havana Brown's Behavior Havana Brown is human-oriented, curious, and playful. The owner has to dedicate his time to the cat as they love to spend time with the people around them. They are always keen to get their owner's attention. In comparison to other short hair breeds, these cats are moderately active and they love to play with other cats. Havana Brown is very friendly, especially with the children. Like most cats, Havana Brown is demanding and talkative but their voice is soft and their personality is more subtle. They like to play with puzzle toys and other challenging games. After playing, the tired Havana Brown will happily ensconce themselves on their owner's lap. Havana Brown gets highly attached to the people she is living with and can also be an excellent traveling companion. They can be kept with other pets including dogs as they are dog friendly. 7. Havana Brown's Lifespan the Havana Brown is one of the long-living breeds of cats as their average lifespan is about 15 to 20 years. Like other pets, the lifespan of Havana Brown is dependent on their diet, enrichment, and lifestyle, fitness level as well as genetics. 
All these factors decide how long an individual cat will live. 8. Havana Brown's Health Both pedigreed cats and mixed breed cats have varying incidences of health problems that may be genetic in nature. Havana Browns are generally healthy, although some may be prone to upper respiratory infections, usually when they are young. 9. Taking care of the Havana Brown Cat The Havana Brown's short, smooth coat is easy to care for with a quick weekly combing. Polishing it with a chamois will make it shine. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene. It's a good idea to keep a Havana Brown as an indoor-only cat to protect him from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Havana Browns who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. 10. Havana Browns Diet Havana Brown can eat anything whether it's homemade food or cat food available in the market. However, the owner must take care of the quality of the food they eat. Their meals should be well scheduled and the quantity should be limited as overeating can lead to obesity which can cause some serious health issues for this cat. 11. Havana Brown's Coat Color Havana Brown's distinctive color extends even to his whiskers. He is the only cat with a breed standard that spells out whisker color, brown of course, complementing the coat color. Looking out from all that minky brown richness are vivid green eyes with an oval shape. The Havana is also distinguished by his uncommon head shape, it's longer than it is wide. Large ears tilt forward. He has a firm, muscular body covered in short, smooth fur in a rich, warm reddish brown. Kittens and young adults may have the barest hint of tabby markings, which disappear as they mature. The nose leather is brown with a rosy flush, and the paw pads are a rosy brown as well. 12. Havana Brown to Children and Other Pets The Havana Brown is playful and smart and can be a good friend to a child who treats him nicely. He's one of those cats who enjoys playing fetch and learning tricks, and his energy level means he won't wear out before the child does. He is happy to live with other cats and cat-friendly dogs too. Thanks to his amiable disposition. Introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.